Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you an Aurora and Volcano Update Sunday, October 31st, around 10 a.m. Mountain Time, 2021. Those who stayed up all night waiting for the Aurora display were disappointed. And if you watched our update on Oppenheimer Ranch Project earlier in the evening, you knew it was a fizzle. In fact, there are some people reporting on the fizzle today. Northern Lights defy predictions. Large-scale display fails to materialize in Minnesota. That's a high-latitude uh, state. And here we can see an actual auroral display back in 2018 during an actual geomagnetic storm of quite some significance. Now, last night when we reported, plasma speed was barely rising up to 400. And right after I went to bed, there was a spike. And certainly this was the X-Flare CME. Very unimpressive. Absolutely no change in temperature whatsoever. And plasma speed barely getting above 450 at any time. In order for a good geomagnetic storm, we would want to see this speed up in the 800, 900 range. But nowhere near that. The density is insignificant. I've seen a density spike like this from a small C flare, for goodness sakes. So, and this is up to, to date. We just came in at KP5. That will be the max for the event uh, for the next two days. So, and there doesn't look like any increase is happening. We are keeping a close eye on it, but there is no evidence coming from anywhere, including the three-hour geospace timeline predicted KP index, which shows it just below five or at five for the next three hours. And that's it. That's the end of the event. We're going to drop back down to zero, perhaps, today, and then try to rise back up. So there is no hope at all. And here's the ghost proton flux falling off. No hope for Aurora. The Aurora forecast keeps getting more and more dismal. So, sorry, it was a fizzler. Nothing burger. And it continues to look like a nothing burger. Except we should be worried that here in the last 24 hours, the phi angle has been sitting at 180. This is the danger zone for large seismic events. And luckily, there is nothing large seismically going on worldwide. There is some activity kicking up here in Hawaii with the Kilauea eruption. So we'll keep a close eye on that for you. Now, volcano, volcan, volcano, volcano in the Aeolian Islands in Italy. Unrest continues there. We've been warning about an eruption there for about three weeks now. And the unrest continues at the volcano. Some of the latest monitoring parameters show an increase, while others have remained more or less stable. According to the Volcano Observatory in Catania, micro Microseismic activity, as well as fumarole temperatures at the crater and gas, carbon sulfur dioxide remain elevated, while no new changes have been seen. Uh, what is going on with ground deformation there? No new changes in ground deformation. So it's just sitting and simmering over there in the Aeolian, 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 however you say that, right near Italy. Now, La Palma volcano, we do have some updates. Volcanic lightning is becoming more frequent. This is because of the increase in ash and cinders, which are literally creating static charge and discharging on our planet. Here you can see a wonderful picture of that. Let's just go blow that up for your pleasure. Boom, right there. That is a fantastic picture taken from the Institute Volcanological in the Canary Islands. Good job. Now they do give a brief description underneath on what's happening with the electricity, but they're also very honest in saying that, um, well, it is still poorly understood what's actually happening with this volcanic activity. But clearly there is a discharge happening and that's quite well understood. Now let's check out the earthquake activity over at La Palma for the last 24 hours. A precipitous drop off Take a look at this, only 81 qu 82 quakes in the last 24 hours, the largest magnitude three. Let's just make sure that that is current. We're just gonna refresh this to make sure nothing has popped off on La Palma because we'd like to be well up to date. During the past 24 hours, La Palma was shaken with 29 qu quakes, magnitude three or above, 53 quakes between two and 2.3. So that is now a total of just 82 quakes. The largest was a 3.4. And this is right underneath of the Cumbre Vieja volcano. Now let's take a look at the 
depth versus magnitude chart. And you can see over the last 36 hours, something is definitely shutting down at La Palma. The density over the last five days has been decreasing precipitously, which means the amount of actual earthquakes. And in the last 18 to 24 hours, very few earthquakes compared to the entire eruption. Now, what could this mean? Well, it could mean a number of things. But if we come over and look at the histograms, it's looking quite positive. There has been in the last week a exponential drop off in seismic activity. Take a look at this line. If you were to put a line here, it'd be dropping straight down, kind of like the temperature during the next ice age would be doing. So that's what's happening there. And here we are live at the volcano. So we can come check out that reduced activity. Still a little ashy and sooty in the region, but very little activity. There's still lava flowing. There still appears to be at least one, two vents active. But the overall activity is quite quiet, which is good news for the Palma. We'll leave you links to everything below as we do in all our videos. Give them a thumbs up at Afar TV. They have been live for 43 days at this volcano and we're still uh sticking with the prediction that if activity continues to subside like it is this baby should be done soon and that's based on historical eruptions the longest eruption here the 49 eruption was 47 days and that's just about five days away from now so we're keeping a close eye on the activity at the palm of good news the volcano may be quieting down now if you want to know about the quaco meter this is uh, the nature of seismic activity worldwide. Has seismic activity increased or decreased? You can find out below if you use the quakometer. It shows you the magnitude of quakes, the discrepancy, the observed deviation. You can see we're at, we are definitely in the hole for six, five, and four magnitude quakes. There has been an increase in small tremors, and that has a lot to do with La Palma, those three magnitude quakes, 42 extra three magnitudes. But in general, just 1% above normal quake activity worldwide. So that's what the quakometer can do for you on a day-to-day -day basis. Also, we're keeping a close eye on Ashja over here in Iceland for you because, well, seismic activity continues to pile up right underneath that volcano in Iceland, as well as on the Reykjanes Ridge and some mild activity at Grimm's Vold. So we're keeping a close eye on Ashja because this baby can blow at VEI 4 or 5 easily. So, hope you got something out of the video. That's it. Boom! Is it? Yes, it is. To knowledge. The aurora, well, it's a fizzle. And it's not looking like that there'll be any major auroras anywhere in the United States anytime soon. And that's a boom. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. We love each and every one of you. Thanks to our one-time donors, our Patreons, the heroes that share this video. If you haven't, subscribe to the channel now. And go over to Oppenheimer Ranch Project and subscribe there for more information. Be safe. That's a boom.